just outdoor rehearsals for Measure for Measure in the afternoon. People waiting, getting ready to go. Peter Francis James, assistant director over there, topless. Matthew Shiner, our stage manager. Buzz Cohen, another stage manager. Kristen Connolly, David S. Bjornsson, David Matthews. Rockin' and rollin' in the free world. Afternoon rehearsal, Shakespeare in the Park. Lorenzo Pisani, resting and waiting. Lucas Caleb Rooney. Hey, what's going on, man? Playing words with friends. No, I was actually texting uh, William Shakespeare some questions about the play. Did he respond? Just comparing and contrasting to two days ago when it was a deluge, today is absolutely beautiful. It's 80 degrees and it couldn't be better. Can't wait to get to work. This is the prop table for All's Well That Ends Well. As you can tell, it is a very different kind of show than Measure for Measure. And it ends with these fantastic replica rifles. We have huge battle sequences, complete with fog and strobe lights and explosions and dramatic music. But while All's Well That Ends Well is going on, this is the facade for Measure for Measure, and it is hanging out back here on the back patio. And something tells me there's not going to be too much cast basketball happening this summer. If you've ever wondered what's going on underneath the Delacorte Theater, here's a little bit of a tour. You go down from stage right. You can see there's lots of work things going on all the time. This is where the actors make their crosses. Go to stage left over that way, or coffee land. You can see the coffee station over there. Lots of electrics for automation. All right, now this is the uh, sound table where the mics and things are put together for the actors for the show. As you see, it gets a little interesting over here. It gets a little crazy. You know, what they do is they wrap all the individual mic packs in condoms, and it keeps them dry from the actor's sweaty backs and thighs and wherever else the mic may live on the actor's body. This is one of the god mics. Various oh, yeah. directors and designers talk into this and say things like, Carson, can you do that 30% faster, please? When you're in the park, almost everybody plays multiple characters. One actor or actress may become four or five different characters by running into this room, getting in front of this mirror, and being placed into wigs, and disappearing into the world of Shakespeare. I am here in the ensemble uh, dressing room, and I'm focusing on the hats, symbolic of the many hats that the ensemble wears as they change from character to character to character. Soldier off duty. Mm -hmm. Soldier on duty. Yep. That's guard. Guard is very challenging. Yeah. <clears throat> attendant? This is an attendant. Right, the fig leaf. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. A messenger? You're always ready. Right, yeah. Where could I go? I could go here. I could go here. Mm -hmm. Before the rest of the ensemble got here, I <laughs> got to play all the ensemble tracks. And uh, that was kind of a plus for me. Zoe so and I were the first two, <laughs> and just a little wank. These people just arrived. And they arrived and just, they, took they, they every took it single all. part uh, away, and uh, and I was left with one. I've also got several hat options. So, John, what are you doing? I'm signing these uh, posters for the public theater. These are donors usually here, but but uh, do a lot of signing for Broadway Cares. Sure. Oh, and then when you're coming out of the stage door on Broadway, there's often lots of times people there that want their program signed. Uh, oh, yeah. I sign those uh, yeah, all the time. Okay. What do you think of this show? I think this is an amazing show. I've been wanting to do Shakespeare in the Park for 14 years. I, I started... One of the reasons I'm an actor is I came here in 1994 and I saw Dan Sullivan's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor and it was the first time that I ever saw Shakespeare that I actually understood uh -huh. and laughed at mm -hmm. and enjoyed. And so it's it's unbelievable uh, to be here 14 years later. Tell us yourself that if you come see the show, you'll enjoy it. Okay, um, listen, if you come and see Measure for Measure and All's Well That Ends Well this summer, you are really going to enjoy it. And I can tell you that if you come and see it, you'll enjoy this young man because he's terrific in the park.